Hey guys, so I'm here with another declutter installment. Um, this one is going to be skincare. My last one I did was lipsticks. Um, and this one is going to be skincare. So I was going through uh, my stuff, like more decluttering. I do have like a general declutter pile that I'm not going to be filming. I was going through it and it's just kind of just like, it's just random stuff. And I'm just going to try to find homes for them and not uh, film a video on those. But I do want to do specific declutters where I declutter like groups of things. So I was going through and I noticed I had a ton of this kind of product and uh, I don't know how this happened. I don't know how I ended up with so many of these, but it is a product category that I actually do really like. Um, and I have a lot more than I thought I had. And that is in the powdered cleansers um, or like exfoliating grain category. I have this many and then I have <laughs> two that are in sort of like bigger packaging. So my goal is to get rid of at least half of these because I don't need this many. Um, but the good thing about powder products is that they don't go off as quickly as say like wet products. If you had like a wet scrub, it would definitely go off a lot quicker um, than like a powder product because of the oils and the, you know, whatever else is in there that keeps them, keeps them wet. The dry powders I find tend to last a lot longer because the, the powders are dry. Um, so there's no going off as quickly. They might lose potency, um, but they're not going to go off. So I still tend to use things. I have something in here that's almost four years old, but I still use it um, because it still smells okay to me. It still, it still smells like it did when I first got it. It still works the same um, for me. So products like these, they don't tend to go bad as quickly, which is probably why I've accumulated so many. But um, the goal is to get rid of at least half of these. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and start with um, these two since they're the biggest ones and they're sitting out. So one of these I'm going to keep and one of these I am not going to keep. So I'll talk about the one I'm going to keep first. Um, this is the Odisite Green Ceremony Cleanser Powder to Foam Efficacy Matcha and Spirulina. This one came in that detox box. It's like the best of the detox market box, uh, Green Beauty 2017 or something like that, which is still available if anybody's still interested in that. But um, this one came in that. And I've only used it once so far, but I actually really, really enjoy this. So like it says, it's a powder cleanser. It comes with a little scoop. So you scoop out you know, one scoop up worth of cleanser, put it in your hand, add a little bit of water, and it does foam. And it's a very interesting product, and it is especially good for people who have my kind of skin type where it's more like oily, acne prone, um, because it is made for uh, skin types such as mine. And it's made to remove excess dirt, oil, and dead skin, helping to treat acne prone skin and reducing breakouts, real, revitalizing mature, tired skin. I think if you have um, terribly dry skin, it would probably irritate your skin because I did notice it didn't strip my skin necessarily, but it did feel like a little bit dry. Um, so I could definitely see someone who's got really dry skin or really sensitive skin that it could be a little bit of an issue. But if you've got oily acne prone skin, I think you'd really, really enjoy something like this. Um, so I'm going to keep that because it is relatively new and I do really like it. So one that I'm not going to keep, and my opinions on this brand are probably going to be a little bit controversial, um, but I don't, I don't get the hype. <laughs> I, a couple of years ago, uh, Gilbert and I for Christmas bought each other the whole May Lindstrom collection. You know, it was sort of like in the beginnings of my uh, YouTube Green Beauty days and, um, I wanted the whole collection because I wanted to try it because it was sort of like the like the epitome of like high-end luxury green beauty at the time and I think there's so many other great brands now um, but even just in the last couple of years but um, I really wanted to try this one and we got the whole line I've tried everything and I don't really have any sort of special feelings about May Lindstrom when I use the products they're just sort of like eh and um, yeah, so this is one that I actually haven't used. Um, I did get a, a very nice sample size or like a deluxe size from a friend. She actually sent me um, like a really decent size of it so I could try it. So I did have that before we actually bought the whole line. And um, I think we ended up buying the whole line before I had used it. Um, Cause I was just like, you know what, let's buy it. Everybody loves it, it's gonna be great, right? Um, so then we bought it. And it's a lot of money. Like the whole entire May Lindstrom line, when I bought it, oh, I forget. 
it was like, oh, I think it was over $600, but now the prices have been increased even more. So it's like, I don't know, at least $100 or $200 more for the entire collection than when I bought it. Um, but this one is the Clean Dirt. So this is their um, like microdermabrasion, uh, like cleansing grain. Um, it's made with clays and sea salt, um, cinnamon, nutmeg, turmeric. So it's got, it's got good ingredients in it. I just don't feel like a special feeling when I use it. Um, like when I, I used up the entire deluxe sample that my friend sent me, but I haven't used any of this bottle. Um, but I just didn't feel like it was just okay. It, it, and it is like because of the ingredients in here, like the, the cinnamon and the clove and the, um, what else is the nutmeg? Um, and the ginger, it is very like stimulating, um, but I just don't, it just doesn't make me feel special. And um, I don't know, it's again, like it's a powdered product, so I know that it's still good. So it, what this was batched in uh, December of 2015. So it's, I think, what does she say? Her products are good for a year, but um, I, I would still use it if I liked it, but um, because I've never used this, I'm just going to try to, you know, rehome it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just, I've, I, and like I said, I have all the other May Lindstrom products. I feel the same way sort of about all of them. The one that I might like the best is like the Jasmine Garden, but that's because a it's a mist. And again, it's just sort of one of those, it's just like, okay. Like I have other mists that I like better. Like every time I pull out the May Lindstrom products to use them, I'll use them for like a day or two and then I just get, I get bored and I want to use other products. So I just stop using them. So Anyway, it's finally time to start like decluttering the May Lindstrom stuff because I just don't, I don't feel anything special towards them and I just shouldn't keep hoarding them um, just because I've paid a bunch of money for them. I just need to find somebody who will buy them uh, from me and, you know, give them a better loving home than I can. I mean, there are a couple that I probably won't, like the Youth Do and um, the Honey Mud, which I'm almost out of, but um, the other, the powdered products and like the body oil, I'll probably find um new homes for, but that's not this video. That's another video. Um, okay. So let's go with these three. So these are all, I would consider cleansing grains and like, um, powdered cleansers as sort of like mask hybrids. I do like to use them as masks. So these three are cleanser slash masks. You can use them either way. They've got instructions, um, for both. Um, I've used them only as masks, but I threw them in here because they can be used as a cleanser slash a mask. These are the Earth Body uh, Sacred Skin Care Brighten, Replenish, and Purify Masks. Um, they're now called Ohm Cali, but um, they're the same formula and the same... They're the, everything's the same except the, the brand name. Um, but I really, really enjoy these. I was introduced to the Brighten one in the Petit Vore box, and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, so then I bought the other two, and I do like the other two. Brighten is still probably my favorite, and when I'm out of the three, Brighten would be the only one that I rebuy, I think. But the replenish, the, the replenish one is a very gentle, um, it's a gentle mask. I really like this one mixed with like avocado and yogurt. It's, it's just a really nice sort of like gentle, like replenishing mask. <laughs> um, it soothes the skin. It is very soothing. And then Purify um, is like their acne fighter one that I like to mix with like tea and um, lemon juice. So these ones are my oldest. These are from 2014. They were batched in uh, July of 2014 actually. So they're almost four years old, but they all still smell and perform um, the same. And uh, they're very, they're like very generous sizes. And I still, I still like using them. I just need to use them more, which hopefully I'm going to do um, when I get rid of like the ones that I don't want to, like I've, I've, there are some in here that I've been just like trying to use up just to use up, but I don't want to do that. I've talked about that before. I don't want to just use things just to use them. I want to use things because I enjoy using them. Um, so we'll go with another one that I'm going to get rid of. This is the Clary C Sea Salt Solutions Instant Glow Face Powder. I think I've used maybe a quarter of what came in here. I think I got this in a vegan cuts box or something. Um, I did like this. I mixed it in with like a liquid cleanser, but I've got something else in here that I would rather use over this one, but I did enjoy this. It is very gritty. This one is like one of the more exfoliating ones that I have, um, but this is made with like sea salt. So if you like salt cleansers, um, you'll like this one, but it's also made with orange, ginger, um, lavender. Um, yeah, so it is a nice product. And I did like using it, but um, I'm going to pass this one along because I've got other things that I would rather use. 
I'm gonna do two more that I'm not gonna be keeping. Um, this one is the Meow Meow Tweet Face Exfoliant. It's oats, black walnut, hull, chamomile, flowers, and kelp. And again, I did like this one. I've gotten through most of it. Uh, it's just like a little trial size, but again, I just was not enjoying it anymore. And there are other ones that I've got that I would rather use. Um, but I did like this one. It was nice. I think I've got maybe a quarter of the bottle left, but it's just it's just okay. Um, it's not one that I would rebuy. And then I've got the Precious Skin Elixirs Sea Pearl Exfoliating Clay. This one came in a Petit Vore box. And again, I made it through most of this. I might have a little less than half. But again, it's just it, I didn't find it very special. It was just sort of okay. Um, this one is French Green Clay, Rose Hips Bamboo, uh, Chamomile Vitamin C, and Lavender. A couple of other things in there. But just it wasn't my favorite. And... Um, yeah, so getting rid of that one. So let's talk about some that we're going to be keeping. So I've got these two from the Granola Goat. She doesn't sell these specific ones anymore, and I think this one has been discontinued, but she's re, uh, redone this one a little bit. This is the Radiance and Refresh Cleansing Powders. The Radiance one is Rice Powder, Oat, Rose Powder, Quinoa, White Kale and Clay, and Lavender. And then the refresh one is rice, oats, yarrow, quinoa, white clay, lemon, and peppermint. This one I still haven't tried yet, um, but I did bring the Radiance one with me when I went to Flagstaff over the weekend, um, and I really, really enjoy this, actually. I put it on before I got in the shower, I let it sit on my face for a little while, and then in, my, in the shower I washed it off and it just left my skin really, really nicely exfoliated. Um, and I, I really like this. So I'm going to keep these. I do think that she's, like I said, reformulated this one just a little bit. I'll link it down below if she has. But as far as I know, this one is discontinued. So I bought these when she was, she had her like 50% off sale or something right before she rebranded and reformulated her products. So these are older formulas. But um, I'm going to still keep using them because I do enjoy, I do enjoy this one. And I'm, I'm assuming I'll enjoy this one as well. But... There's two more that I'll be keeping. So we'll do another one that I'm gonna be getting rid of. This is the Wabi Sabi Botanicals Saga Heavenly Realm Charcoal and Rose Cleansing Grains. This is pretty minimal ingredients. It's got oats, kaolinite, pink rose petals, bamboo charcoal, and that's it. Um, I think I got this again in a petite, or not a petite board box, a vegan cuts box. I didn't actually use this, and Wabi Sabi Botanicals has actually gone through quite a few rebrands in their short their short time um, as a brand. I think they've gone through at least two rebrands since um, since I've been in Green Beauty. And, I, and every time, they, they, I, think, I, think, I feel like this, they can't sort of figure out who they really are, but this, this last time that they reformulated, they just relaunched with a bunch of like treatment oils, like special treatment oils. And they used to have things like masks and body oils and um, cleansing grains and face oils and things like that. But now they're just like a very limited, um, like product line. Um, so I don't know. So this isn't a product that's available anymore. So one, for that reason, I'm going to get rid of it just because it's not even something I could buy if I like it. But two, I'm just not, I'm just not intrigued enough by this product to try it. Um, so I'm going to be getting rid of that one. Should we do another one I'm going to get rid of? Sure. I'm going to get rid of this Coco Kind um, Organic Sea Moss Exfoliator. I have not used this one either. Coco Kind did send me a few products to try out, and um, honestly, they, none of them really, none except the Rose Water Spray, I really enjoyed. That one I really like. I like the Rose Water Spray. It's organic. It smells really amazing. Um, it's affordable for rose water. Um, but the rest of the products, I just feel were just kind of like, meh, they didn't really like speak to me. So this is made with uh, Carrageen, Irish Moss, Grape Seed, and uh, Geranium oils. So it's, again, pretty minimal ingredients, but um, like I'm saying, it just, it just didn't speak to me enough to use it. And I would rather somebody else um, give this a try uh, while it's still good. But I mean, like, like I was saying, it's a powder product. They say they say good for a while. So let's do that a couple that I'm going to be keeping. I've got the Uma Ultimate Brightening Rose Powder Cleanser. I've used a, a little bit of this up so far. I do actually really enjoy this. I like mixing it in with other like sort of liquid cleansers um, or on its own, but I mostly enjoy mixing it with other liquid cleansers. And then I've got the Leilani Kalima uh, Coconut Cream Cleansing Powder. No way am I getting rid of this one. Oh God, I just love Leilani's products so much. They all smell so amazing. I like to mix this one in with the Coco Lika as a mask. 
um, or I'll do this one on its own. This one kind of reminds me um, of this one a little bit. They had sort of like the same effect on my skin, but of course this one smells way more amazing, um, but they both sort of had the same effect on my skin. So if you're looking for something maybe a little bit more affordable than the Kalima, um, check out the Radiance, because I think it's still available. I will double check again, like I said, but I will put that, um, I'll link it down below if it is, but the Kalima is just special. It just smells like dessert heaven, and it's, I just want to eat it. So two, these, these are both uh, ones that I'm going to be keeping, the Uma Brightening Cleanser and then the Kalima Coconut coconut cleanser. So let's see, what else am I getting rid of? I'm going to be getting rid of this Ashes uh, by Good Medicine. Um, I accidentally did not read the ingredients on this before I actually bought it. This is like their mini size, like a trial size, but it's a pretty good amount. It's got to be at least one ounce. Um, but it contains pearl powder and milk powder. So this is not one that I will be trying. I will be passing this along to somebody who does want to try it, who does not care about those ingredients. Um, but I was excited to try it until, you know, I read that. <laughs> so that's the, what is it? It's got, it doesn't have the whole ingredient list on here, but it's also got Juniper and Lily of the Valley. So I do have the Smudge Detox Mask and the Apple Pectin Honey Blossom Mask or something by them that I did really enjoy actually. Um, so I'm bummed that I can't try that. So some more that I'll be keeping. The Osea Vitamin C Probiotic Polish. I actually really enjoy this, and this is probably the most expensive thing in this pile, even more expensive than the May Lindstrom. This is $108, I believe, but seriously, a little bit goes such a long way. It looks like I haven't touched this. I've used this quite a few times, actually, but you need the smallest amount. It's like really packed in here, so you're gonna get your money's worth. Um, it's not something that you use like three scoops of and it's, it's done. It, you, you barely need any for it to be effective. I like to mix it in with my Osea cleansers, um, especially the Ocean Cleanser. So I'll take a couple of pumps of that, I'll take a scoop of this, and then when I'm feeling like I need like an exfoliation, um, especially in the areas that get really congested, like my nose or my chin, I will, you know, use this to exfoliate and my skin is like super smooth um, and it's got vitamin C in it as well so it helps with brightening. Um, it's also probiotics. Um, it's also, let's see, what's it got in here? It's got rice powder, uh, bamboo. It's got the probiotics. Um, it's got things that I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to leave the link for that down below because I don't know some of the technical terms for some of these products. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I really, really like this one. And like I said, it is the most expensive one that I have here, but it is, it is worth it. It's worth the price. If you have one, um, that might be a good one to get because it'll last you a long time, plus it's it's like multi-purpose because you can use it to exfoliate and brighten, if you know what I mean. So that, I really like that one. Another one I'm going to be keeping is the Lena Hansen Global Face Trio, just because I'm almost done with this. I might have like two uses in here. Um, I do like this product. Okay, Oliver woke up. I had to go put him back down. Not ready for him yet. Um, anyway, where was I? Um, so yeah, I don't know that I would rebuy this. I do like it, but um, I think I have other ones that I like more. But it is nice. Um, it is sort of like brightening and exfoliating. Again, so I have a couple more uses out of this, so I'm going to finish it, but um, I don't know that I would rebuy it. Another one I'm keeping is the Earth uh, Earthwise Beauty Catharsis Face Cleanser and Mask. I like to mix this in with a liquid cleanser. I got a snack too. <laughs> um, or I like to mix it in with honey and um, do like a face mask with it. Um, it can be a little bit hard to work with, I think because of the ingredients in here, but this is meant for soothing and for redness. And um, it's got aloe leaf, neem, spirulina, chlorella, and orange peel powder. So I do really enjoy this. And this is one that I will be, I will be keeping. I do love it. It smells like really like sort of like grassy from the spirulina in here. I really, really like this. Um, so let's do a couple that I'm gonna be getting rid of. I've got the Elise Marie Mask and Dry Cleanse. Um, I don't have the ingredient list on here, but I think it's got like hibiscus, turmeric, clay. It's got very minimal ingredients. Um, I did have, this is a, a, a second jar of this. They sent me uh, two jars on accident. And um, I did try one jar, but I ended up passing it along because I wasn't the biggest fan of it. Um, it was just sort of okay. Um, so I have a second jar that's brand new, so I'm going to be passing this one along as well. But it was just okay. I have got other things, again, that I prefer more. Um, 
namely like the SW Basics uh, Hibiscus Mask. I like more than that one, sort of in the same realm. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know that I have any others that would be like that, but I do have others that I like more than that one. Um, I think I'm also going to get rid of the Aster and Bay Dandelion Face Grains. I do really like this product again, but um, I've got one that I just received. Ooh, things are flying all over the place. That is, I want to use more than this because this is a newer product. So I've used this before. I've used up a whole one of these containers um, and I really, really liked it. I bought a second travel set and this came in it and I haven't used it since I bought it. But I did recently receive the Malaya Herbal Facial Polish Brighten and Clarify and I would rather use this one than this one. Um, this one is made for anti-inflammatory and skin soothing and this one I think is made, it's, well, it's, it's made to brighten and clarify. Um, so I'm, it's, this one's got a lot of really nice ingredients in it, like vitamin C, hibiscus, um, oat rice, um, frankincense, mandarin sage, ginger, ginger. So I'm more excited to use this product, um, than I am to use this one. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this one along and, uh, open up this guy and give this one a whirl. This one smells really good too. This one sort of has like a non-smell, but it worked really nicely. Um, I just want to use this one more. So I've got, let's see, how many have I gotten rid of? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, I'm gonna end up keeping more than I'm getting rid of, but I'm getting rid of, I'm getting rid of a fair amount. So this one uh, I had trouble with. I went back and forth on whether or not I wanted to keep or get rid of this one, but I think I'm gonna get rid of it because um, I just have so many. I really like this one. If I decide in the future after I finish a bunch I want to rebuy it, I totally would. This is the Bee Naturals Queen Bee Facial Polish. This is made with oatmeal flour, uh, kale and clay, lavender bud powder, and then cosmetic grade pumice and iron oxides. This one is really, really nice to mix in with a liquid cleanser. So I guess that's kind of, I'm okay getting rid of this, I think, because it sort of acts the same as this, only much, much cheaper. Um, but it doesn't have, you know, the same amazing ingredients that this one does have in it. But it acts the same. I like to add both of these to liquid cleansers. Um, it's very, it's like the, um, it's almost sort of like brand new dayish from One Love Organics. It's very like microderma bragy. And I do really, really like it, but I just have so many other things that I need to get through that I think it's time to just pass that one along. Um, one that I'm gonna keep, because it's like a trial size and it is sort of the same kind of product, but they don't make this anymore, which makes me sad because I actually really enjoy this. This is the Kaye Naturals. I think it's called the Bamboo Tapioca Powder. I forget exactly what it was called, but again, it's sort of like that same, um, from One Love Organics, the brand new day product. It's like that. It has the same texture and it feels the same, um, but it doesn't have that like obnoxious pineapple smell that the One Love Organics products have. Um, that's what sort of kept me away from most of the One Love Organics products is they all have that like pina colada scent and I just, I can't do that. I really like this one. I hope they bring it back in the future. I do think they still have it for sale on Petivor, but my guess is that that's a very, very old batch because they haven't made that product in over a year, I know. Um, but I will keep my sample and I will finish this and um, it maybe only has like two uses in it. Uh, but I wish that, I hope they bring that back in the future. The last one that I've got is another discontinued product, but I'm going to keep it anyway because I really like it. This is the Fable Naturals Quinoa and Almond Exfoliant. Um, Fable Naturals is now Ola deodorant and they only make deodorant now, whereas they used to do like skincare and body care. Um, but this is made with almond meal, uh, oatmeal, uh, quinoa, rice powder, fresh skin clay, bergamot, orange, rose, and that's it. And I did try a sample of this before I bought it. And I really, really, really loved it. So I went ahead and bought the full size knowing that I was never going to be able to get it again. So I at least wanted to experience it uh, one for one jar. But um, so I'm getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So I think I did pretty good. So here's what I'm getting rid of. I'm gonna get rid of the May Lindstrom Clean Dirt. And then I'm getting rid of a lot of these sort of like smaller size things. I've got a couple full size things. Uh, mostly it's like samples. So here's what I'm getting rid of. And then we'll put on 
what I'm keeping on the other side. So and then I'm keeping everything over here plus this. So it seems I'm definitely keeping a lot more that I'm giving away obviously because this is my keep section and this is my giveaway section which is a lot less product. It's almost the same number of products but it's a lot less product so I'm not getting rid of as many as I wanted to but I just can't part with some of these. They're really great products. They work really well for my skin and a couple of these, well one of these, well two of them, two of them are new. The Malaya and the, uh, the Granola Goat product. So um, yeah, so that's what I'm keeping. That's what I'm getting rid of. I, yeah, I, <laughs> does anybody else really enjoy these like powdered cleanser, exfoliating grain type products as much as I do? I mean, I love, I'm, I'm, I exfoliate a lot. Um, my skin needs it. It gets built up really quickly. I exfoliate physically, chemically. I do not, um, what's the word? I don't, I don't discriminate against exfoliation. I love exfoliating. I love exfoliating powders. I love using them as masks. I love using them as cleansers. Um, I just really enjoy this category of product, as you can tell. So I am going to be attempting to work through a very large selection of this um, throughout this year, but I'm glad to at least get rid of the ones that I know I'm not going to use and are just hanging around. So hopefully I can find some other homes for those where people will love them, where I cannot. And um, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So my next one, I'll probably do another makeup. I'm not really sure what I want to do next, though. Excuse me while I eat my vegan chocolate rice krispie treat. Or if you have a specific category of skincare or makeup that you'd like to see decluttered next, just let me know. Give me some ideas. And um, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.